It's a great day to be a Pokemon fan because Pokemon Legends ZA is finally here. You'll be able to play the Nintendo Switch version 1 into your PC now. So if you're interested on that, then please do watch this guide. So first of all, what you need is that you'll need to have a copy of all the four files that I've highlighted here in my folder. So these are the Nintendo Switch firmware, Nintendo Switch keys, and it should be in version 20, at least in version 20, because to detect and play Pokemon Legends ZA and also you will need an emulator called that is Ryujinx or Ryubing emulator. So before you follow this guide, I need you to agree that you have already purchased a legal copy of the game. You have purchased or pre-ordered it so be sure to do that because we don't want to support piracy here, we just want it to do it in a legit way and if you don't have a Nintendo Switch too, the best way to play Pokemon Legends ZA is into your PC. So pre-order the game, get the game, own the game, then proceed into this guide. So go to Google and let's get an emulator. So the emulator that we will need to get is called Ryubing Emulator. So this is a Nintendo Switch uh, emulator which is based on Ryujinx Emulator. Ryujinx Emulator is a popular emulator before it was taken down by Nintendo. So go to the official GitHub page of Ryubing, click on that, hover down below, go to the latest build, and then look for the you can find stable release here and click on the here link and then you can download the emulator from here so get the linux installer if you are in linux and if you're from mac you can get the installer here and there is also an installer for a steam deck so be sure to get that and then if you are from pc just like me you can get the installer here by clicking on the zip file here download it get it now so since I have already have done that and I have these files, so let's get on with it and install it in PC. So I'm just going to open the folder where I have the emulator. I'm just going to click on the zip file because that is the installer. Click on that. Click and open the publish folder here. And then you will need to create a folder that is named Ryujinx, Ryubing, or whatever you want to call it. And then switch emulator, do that. And then select all the files that is inside drag and drop these files into the folder that you have created so that you'll be able to run Ryujinx or Ryubing emulator into your PC. So since I have already done that, I'm just going to skip on that part because mine has been fully installed and have fully been optimized. So just look for the Ryujinx application file and then there you are good to go to run it. So click on that and run it now. And I'm going to assume that you have done it. So open your Ryubing, if this is your first installation, your Ryubing emulator will look empty because it still needs uh, files to be installed in it before it can detect and play switch games. So what are these files? These files are the files that I have lighted here in my desktop. So these are the Nintendo Switch keys and the Nintendo Switch firmware. Again, it should be in version 20 at least so that it can detect Pokemon Legends ZA and your game should be in XCI or NSP file format. Okay, now if you're asking me on how to get all of these files, the most legal way to do this is that you own a Nintendo Switch console itself. You have modded it and have installed a custom firmware in it. Because if it has a custom firmware installed in it, it means that you can have fully access your Nintendo Switch files. Once you have access on those files, those system files I mean, is that just copy all of the keys in the firmware file of your Switch and then transfer them into your PC. Now to get the game, there's no other way around this, but you should purchase again the game. That's why I ask you when, you, when you follow this guide, you need to buy the game first. When you have the physical copy, you can now digitally back it up into an XEI or an NSP file format. So if you don't know how to mod or install a custom firmware, but you own it to the Switch and you own and you have purchased the game of Pokemon Legends ZA and you don't know how to mod, install custom firmware and do all that things because you just want to play the game. So to get these files, uh, I'm just going to leave a QR code here on the screen. Scan it with your QR code reader into your mobile phone and you will be redirected to the page wherein you can get all of these three files. So be sure to follow the instructions on the site so that you'll be able to get these three files here, okay? Be sure to follow them and you're good to go. And I'm just going to assume, okay, that you have this files now into your PC. Let's install them in Rubing. So go to Rubing. And let's install the Nintendo Switch curve and Nintendo Switch keys first. So open that. Then open the keys in the zip file. Go to actions in Rubing. Install keys. Create a new folder that is named keys. And then all you have to do is just select all the files inside. Drag and drop them here. 
click on the product.keys, hit open, hit yes, hit OK, and go back to actions again, install keys, click on the title keys, hit open, hit yes, hit OK. Then, the next step is to install the firmware. So just go to actions again, install firmware, install firmware from XZI zip file, locate on that firmware file, and it should be version 20.5.0, hit open, and we'll say that we'll have to install this, hit yes, and it has this for installed. You'll know that it's successful because right down here below it says firmware version 20.5.0 and if you have switched games already into your system, it will now be detected and it will show you all of the game icons of those games that you have. Now, as you can see here, I have Pokemon Legend ZA. It's version 1.0.0. It's the base game. I have not installed uh, the title update of it because the title update will crash you being emulator. So we have to skip on that. So if we want to play this game perfectly, with no issues at all, and with other Switch games that you have, we have to optimize Ubing first. So just go to options and go to settings. And in this part, just be sure to pause the video and copy every setting that you see here. Again, pause the video, copy every setting. Game Directories is where you will store your Switch games. It could be anywhere into your PC as long as it's in XCI or NSP file format. Once done, go to input tab, um, it's better to use a controller rather than a mouse and keyboard when playing Switch games, so be sure to connect your Xbox, your PlayStation, your PC controller, or better yet, your Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Connect them here, map them up according to the liking, with the dead zone for both left and right sticks, it should be in point 20. So that will fix the drifting issues if you're having some drifting issues in your controller. Once done, go to system. So these are the settings here, be sure to check FS integrity checks change the region language to anything that you like go to cpu uh, be sure to check pptc and these are the settings that you need to follow then go to graphics the most important part of the setting so graphics back end it is in vulkan api your preferred gpu is a dedicated graphics card mine is an rtx 4070 super so at least if you have a gtx 1060 you'll be able to play all of the nintendo switch games with that graphics card so it's a very old graphics card now so i think you're good to go because you might have a latest graphics card or at least which is really good now in features and enhancements uh you should enable shader cache and enable micro hle resolution scale should be in two times resolution or if you have a powerful cpu or graphics card you can go for three times or four times resolution you can go for 4k resolution but if you are in the lower end then you can go choose native resolution which is the base resolution of the switch anti-aliasing i have set it to max which is ma ultra if you're some having some issues go to none scaling filter fsr set to 100 percent if you're having some issues change this to bilinear anisotropic filtering i set it to max but if you're having some issues you can change this to auto or two times in aspect ratio 16 by 9 because that is my model per aspect ratio once done here go to audio the settings in audio is real simple so be sure to copy it once done, hit apply and hit OK. Congratulations, your uh, Ubing emulator is now fully capable of playing any Nintendo Switch games from the old and new games such as Pokemon Legends CA. So a little bit of disclaimer, I will not be able to show you guys the gameplay of this game running to my PC because we all know how strict Nintendo is and they don't like this kind of content. So if I show you a gameplay of Pokemon ZA running perfectly in you being emulator in my PC, then my channel will be taken down and my videos will be taken down. And I don't want that to happen. And I hope you guys do understand on that part. But I am willing to compromise a little bit and show you proof that Pokemon Legends GA can boot up in Rubing emulator. So I'm going to boot up into the title screen of the game. I'm just going to blur the screen from here on out so that Nintendo will not be able to hit me with any of their corporate strikes into my channel. And again, please do understand. So now, I am in the tile screen, running 30 FPS, I have not installed any mod to increase it into 60 FPS yet, but the game runs well. So I'm just gonna stop the emulation here. Okay, so as long as you followed all the steps that I've shown you in this guide, you'll be able to play Pokemon Legends ZA easily into your PC map. So, if you have some questions regarding the installation process of this game running to PC, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer all of them as fast as I can. But if this video has helped you, please do like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell that will help me massively. Thank you for watching, see you next time, and goodbye for now.